What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with James Harling said and him finally making it official that he is now working with Stefan aka boss of Outlaw. So we heard this news like 3 or 4 days ago when AJ Kelly announced this on his Instagram that James is working with Stefan and now this is confirmed by James himself. So these two guys are gonna be working together for the remainder of the season. So almost all of the bodybuilding community wanted James to do Detroit Pro and there was a lot of pressure on him. And the reason was he was in such a good shape and he was in such a good condition because he was trying out different things, different peaking formulas to find out what works the best for him. So he chose to skip Detroit Pro and one of the reasons was he did not want to present something less than 100% at that show. And James was running his own protocol, his own diet plan when he was two weeks out of the Orange Classic Ohio all the way till Detroit Pro. So he did a pretty good job dialing himself in for the Orange Classic Ohio especially at the pre-judging where he was tied with John DeRosa for the fourth place after the pre-judging. So we did saw James guest pose in Sweden just last weekend and I have to say he was looking really huge and really ripped at the same time. And even right now he is holding on to a very good condition and at the same time he's back in the gym lifting some very heavy weights. And now it's time to up the food and put on some solid muscle and go for a short off season before starting the prep for his Olympia qualification. And according to James, he's gonna stay in a very great shape throughout this growing season, just like he does every year. So he is scheduled to guest pose at the end of June as well. So it's gonna give the crowd a show there as well. And he would 100% like to get to the Olympia stage this year because this is how he will make that 2023 count. Because James decided to skip out of the competition season for the entirety of 2023. And the reason was he wanted to get bigger, he wanted to grow, he wanted to improve his physique overall. So could he have won Detroit Pro? Well, that Ohio version of James Holling said, that was pretty damn impressive. So he definitely had a shot. Andrea Presti's physique update is next. 7 weeks out of Emperor Classic Spain. And if you guys remember, this was also his first show of the season last year as well. And I have to say he was so impressive at last year's Emperor Classic Spain. Although he came in second and Michael Crystal was the one who won that show, where Presti gave him a very serious run for his money there. That was arguably the best version of under Presti to date. He was big, he was shredded, and I have to say it seemed like he had somewhat of a balance between his upper and lower half because he was looking really good at that show. Now, this is something that is guaranteed. His quads will never be as impressive as his upper half. It's just his genetics. Plus, he was unable to train his legs because of a couple of injuries. So that discrepancy between his upper and lower half, that was quite visible at the Olympia last year and especially at Romania Pro last year, which was his last show. And he placed six at that show. And that is something that was totally unexpected because Andrea placed 12th at the Olympia last year and at Romania, he got beat by Mohamed Fada and Harsemdi as well. And both of these guys haven't even been to the Olympia stage yet. And Andrea Presti is a three times Olympian now. So that was kind of a big blow. So now with Michael Crizzo doing this show, Baros Tabani, as well as William Bonak, and all of these guys have superb quartz development. All of these above mentioned guys are very balanced. So the chances of Andrea Presti winning that show, they are zero to none. And it is gonna be a hard one for Presti. When you stand next to guys who are very complete top to bottom, all the weaknesses you have get exposed big time and that is most probably gonna happen in Spain. So Presti needs to have a backup plan, which I'm sure he has because he always loved to do Portugal Pro. He has won that show three times in the last three years. So he's probably gonna be there defending his title. Logan Franklin and Tao Sufin were spotted training together as Logan starts his first prep with Patrick Tour. Now, if you guys ask me, I think he's gonna do Texas Pro and that show is gonna be happening in August. And the reason I'm saying that is because he loves to do that show. And keep in mind, he calls himself the Texas Hulk. He has been chasing this title for quite a while now. In 2021, he did just one show and that was Texas Pro and was hoping to get his Olympia qualification at that show. But unfortunately for him, Robert Thames just came out of nowhere and he just demolished that whole lineup. And last year, Logan got beat by Robert Thames as well as Jehan Park. So he dropped down to third place. And although Logan is qualified for the Olympia this year, but he would like to do one show before the big dance to see how it goes and to figure out some new things with his new coach. And for those of you guys who are wondering, he made this decision of competing before the Olympia long before he announced that he's now working with Patrick Tour. So is that gonna be the magic combination that Logan has been looking for? Is 2024 finally gonna be Logan's year? Do let me know what you guys think. So when we talk about the top six athletes in the world, 
we are talking about the best of the best in terms of genetics and honestly majority of the guys in classic physics division specifically the top ones they are so well conditioned and they are so regimented that these guys hardly leave the door open for anyone although michael dabul is a great example who went on to become top six in the world under the coaching of patrick tour and michael did not have the best shape he did not have the best genetics for classic physique he did not have the best proportions but he just demolished so many great athletes so many gifted bodybuilders for classic physique with his absolutely insane conditioning and that is why he is known as the most tried guy in classic physique so one thing is very certain logan is gonna be in a very good condition even right now which is a starting point he looks so good so i am really excited to see him back on the stage with the coach this time and especially on the olympia stage because that is gonna be after a gap of four years so since we just mentioned texas pro and since we are talking about classic physique hopefully we are gonna see the return of 2021 texas pro champion robert Thames this year one of the ogs of classic physique division so whenever i feature him in one of my videos there are so many comments about his legs that they are still small they are still behind his upper half and that his upper half is way more impressive compared to his lower half and i kind of agree there is no denying that fact that his upper half is way more complete than his lower half but we have to keep in mind he was extremely impressive last year at texas pro he had more overall balance especially compared to previous years and now that he has had another year of training under his belt there are probably going to be some more improvements i am a huge fan of his physique he is not missing a single body part especially in terms of muscularity in the upper half so i think him and brion asley are extremely close in terms of having the best bicep peaks in the division so really looking forward to his return to the stage because Texas Pro 2023 was also his last show. So let's end this video with another classic physique update. And this time from the king of classic physique, Chris Bumstead himself, the five times champion going for number six. So we saw kind of a sneak peek in his latest YouTube video, which you guys can see a glimpse of how things are looking right now. So Honey Rembrandt has put him on a program where he needs to eat a lot of food in order to get huge before he starts the prep. The plan is to get up to 265 pounds fasted before starting the Olympia prep. So Chris is getting stronger and he is looking really lean at the same time. So since winning his first title in 2019, last year was the first time when an athlete actually gave Chris Bumstead some tough time. And that guy was Ramondino, who really gave him a run for his money. Not only was he able to beat him in some of the shorts, but some shorts like the frontable biceps and the abs and thigh, they were extremely close between both of these guys as mentioned by Tyler Mannion himself. So Chris Bumstead was determined to start this prep early for 2024. And that is what he seems to be doing right now. And I think he looks super impressive right now at six months out of the show. And all he has to do is bring his best, bring his A game. Because if he's able to do that, the way he did in 2022, everyone else is gonna be fighting for second place. And I think all of the bodybuilding community agrees on that. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.